Hello and welcome to another edition of Movie Rant. I am Josh. Eric. And let's go ahead and get started with the sneak peek of the week. Sneak peek of the week. Uh. We have some Star Wars news this week. John Williams is going to be doing the music for Star Wars 7. Some more Star Wars news is that Ryan Gosling's people have said no. Unfortunately, he will not be appearing in the film. Ugh. But Zac Efron's people have still yet to give word, so he could still be appearing in the, in the new film. Uh, we also have some news coming out from Days of Future Past, the new X-Men film, uh, a new guerrilla marketing commercial where they show, uh, it's an infomercial for Trask Industries, where they have uh, Sentinels. It's like an ADT security commercial. It's really cool. Check it out. We have the link below. New to Blue. All right, new to Blu-ray and DVD coming out this Tuesday is Oblivion starring Tom Cruise and Morgan Freeman. Kind of a sci-fi epic tale, really good special effects, uh, really good acting always from Morgan Freeman and pretty good acting from Tom Cruise, which is kind of hit or miss, uh, so pretty good. Also, Mud starring Matthew McConaughey. That's where he lost all that weight and looked real gangly and nasty and stuff. Didn't get the chance to see it. I'm really looking forward to it. Definitely going to be there watching that movie and renting it on Tuesday. Make sure you guys check those out. Review time. Review time. All right, this weekend, Eric and myself went and watched the movie Two Guns starring Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. I'm just kidding. Mark Wahlberg and, uh, and Denzel Washington, Bill Paxton, and Edward James Olmos. I thought this movie was freaking awesome, honestly, because it was uh, kind of like a modern-day rendition of Tango and Cash. Um, with a little bit more seriousness to it, uh, but that real good buddy buddy cop film, I thought was yeah, just they, brilliant. They played off each other really really well, and Mark Wahlberg is always funny in every comedy I've I've seen him. Oh, he's absolutely, always, always good, always really good comedic timing. His characters are always really funny, and Denzel Washington, he was really really good too. And then yeah, like I said, their chemistry was just it was good. It was amazing. Not to mention whenever Denzel was on screen, he just like stole the show. Oh yeah. Uh, same same goes with Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton playing a bad guy, mm -hmm. uh, not really normal for him, but he just did freaking fantastic. Just two veteran actors doing what they know how to do. And they have a scene together that which right. is just awesome. Uh, also, uh, in the Edward James Omos BSG fans out there like myself, of course he always brings his A game. Mm -hmm. Every actor in this movie brings their A game. Um, there was one thing, I'm not going to tell you what it is, about the movie that kind of bothered me, because the movie's based on super realism, Yeah. and there's a part where it's not super real, like there's no way in hell this could happen, but... Oh, yeah, I think it, I know what you're talking about. Right, yeah, <laughs> yeah and I'm, but, uh, I mean, it was cool. It was cool. But there's no way it could happen in real life. When you check it out, you understand. Um, but yeah, I guess to wrap up this little rant on Two Guns, which we both give a thumbs up. We both thumbs liked up. it. Really um, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to our correspondent, Jared, to see what he thought. Thank you, Jared. Well, that's it for this edition of Movie Rant. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment on the page below so you can have some input on our next episode. Remember, we're on here every Monday at 5 Central Time. Where, uh, we'll be back. We'll rant about some more stuff. Catch us next week. See ya.